Hi folks, I'm Mike here with Campaholics. I see a lot of posts on Facebook inquiring about what do you wash your RV with or what type of soap would you use on your RV? I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're, we're the, the Campaholics. Campaholics. the Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax. Uh, it has uh, the Carnaboo, I hope I said that right, in it. It leaves a nice shine on it, a nice gloss on it when I'm done. Uh, I feel that the rainwater and so forth just runs right off of it uh, when I routinely wash it. Now generally I pretty much wash this once a week because I'm obsessed. So I wash this thing once a week and I'll also use my tires, or McGuire's rather, Endurance Tire Gel. I'll put this on the tires to keep them uh, shined up, protected from the UV light, so UV light doesn't damage them also. So I'll use that, and today, I'm gonna to use the McGuire's Ultimate Paste Wax. I'm gonna do that on the front cap of the uh, RV, my RV. Get it shined up, protected, because that's taking the most abuse from road debris and bugs and and so forth like that. So a lot of a lot of road debris, a lot of bugs on it. Uh, it gets a lot of spray from uh, construction sites or what have you due to rain and rain runoff. So I'm gonna wax today the uh, front cap of the RV. And if I get ambitious, I'm gonna run down the sides with it also. But those are the products I use. I'll show you the uh, wash bin. This is my big RV brush that I use. I got this one off of um, Amazon. So it's nice soft brush, uh, does well. This is the uh, extendable pole I got. Uh, I believe I got this from Lowe's, yes I did. Reach extension, eight foot pole, uh, works out great. I've, uh, I've gone through three different poles and they always seem to snap off at the end, right where they connect to the brush. So this one's been doing fine for me. Now you see the Meguiar's, uh, it has a nice, foam to it also has a nice odor to it um, but we're gonna go ahead and wash our RV today with this using this product and we'll see how it does and I'll show you how it, it runs off As you can see, it says up well. Uh, it's got some viscosity to it, I guess, so to speak. It doesn't run off too quickly. And of course, this brush is very nice. Having a nice brush, it's really good. To be honest with you, I, probably, I washed this probably two weeks ago. And we had a lot of uh, rain over the weekend. Of course, there's always rains here on the weekends. For... I'm so sick of rain. Every weekend for about the last two months has rained. Heck, probably for the since of the first of the year has rained on the weekends. Maybe Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. One of those three days are all three. But anyway, I washed this uh, two weeks ago, so it's been through the rain over the weekend, plus going down the road from a uh, camp trip. So as you can tell, it's pretty, it looks pretty good. Uh, not a lot of um, dirt on it. The rain just pretty much rinses right off of it. As you can see, it does bubble up, bubble up. So it does have a, a little wax effect to it from the last wash. So that's why I like that product. And now I roll. And as you see, it sets up very, very well. And once it gets up there, it gets settled, it doesn't run off too fast, too quickly. So we'll go ahead and rinse. You notice how all these, I got the sunlight to come out with the rinse for the shine effect. Look at that. Look at that. I got a remote for the sunshine. 
But anyway, that's how uh, I, I use, what I use the uh, wash my uh, RV with. Again, it's the uh, McGuire's Legendary Ultimate Wash and Wax Hydrophobic Polymer Technology. Clear coat safe canabu and synthetic polymer technology. It's a deep gloss, just wax shine. I get this at uh, Advanced Auto Parts or Auto or something like that. But um, works great. I love it, and uh, looks like uh, looks like I just got it from day one. All right. When I get to the uh, tires, I'll show you that. And after I wax the cap, I'll show you that also and the impact it makes on that. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and apply the wax. The uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. This is a new can I just got. So I'm using my Warner Podium Ladder, which is all pretty cool. Nice ladder, nice comfortable ladder to work with. But I'm going to do like the directions say, put on a block at a time, section at a time, lay through to dry. Buffed off with the towel, basically. All right, folks. Here is the waxed and buffed side, and here is the unclean, just car washed side. So you can tell a difference. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's pretty darn good. I mean, I cut it right down the center here. You can definitely tell the difference in the reflection, ironic reflection, between the two sides, the waxed and the unwaxed. So these are painted caps. Those are not decals, so it would do it a, a good, it would do, it would be a good thing anyway, just to go ahead and, and uh, wax the front of these, if not the whole darn thing. But wow, what a difference. All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue on. And um, when I get to the tire parts, I'll give you an up, update on the tires. Thanks. All right, we're going to put on the uh, tire gel. And that is just what it is. Thick. And we'll get our rag here. I thought I had one of those sponges. That sponge would work better, but this is what we're going to use now. So rub this on the tire, rub the tire down. For UV protection. And overall, a clean finish look. It says it'll last for about two weeks. The shine will last for about two weeks is what it says on the label, so we'll, we'll find out. Goes on pretty smooth, but it is gel. It's got a slippery lube <laughs> type feel to it. All right, folks. So that's what I'm doing, protecting the tires from UV damage, so they last longer and give it a nice finished look with the clean reek. By the way, I did put this on the trim. You see the difference? So, putting that on the trim, got like an arm all effect to it. But evidently, they say it's going to last longer than arm all. And we, whoops, we shall see. Yeah, she's graying out a little bit, so we'll dress this up with some of this gel, tire gel. It looks better already. Have any questions? Put them in the comments below, and uh, I'll try and link uh, website to some of the products I I bought. Some of these are on Amazon, and some I got at a local store. And there's my alarm to take my medicine. Huh. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.